We just had these t-shirts made. If anybody's interested, I will leave it in the description below. What's up everybody? I am Mae Flowers and welcome to today's video. If this is your first time here, go ahead, click the little red button, subscribe, and give this video a thumbs up. This is what I have to say about self-love. What is self-love, you may ask? It means to honor yourself, to recognize your individuality, worth, and well-being. Think of caring for yourself as if you were a newborn baby. We're so gentle with babies, we should be just as gentle with ourselves as we grow. We're still these really special, sensitive beings. We're just a bit taller now. How you would nurture and care for a baby, you should care for yourself. You feed a baby with so much care, feed yourself with so much care, feed yourself thoughtfully, honor yourself by consuming healthy foods, taking your vitamins, flossing your teeth, and be present while you're doing all of these things. Recognize that you're doing this for yourself. Check me out over here, taking my vitamins and flossing my teeth, yeah! We tend to look for love outside of ourselves, when really we should be looking inside for the love. It's all there, all you need. It's in you already. This may sound a little silly. Some of you might be a little bit embarrassed or a little shy, but every day say I love you to yourself. Even if you fully don't feel it at first, start somewhere. And if you're shy, you don't have to say it out loud. You can just think it to yourself. Look yourself in the mirror and be like, yo, I am beautiful and I love you. I had a moment the other day after my run, I was stretching and I was just filled with all of these emotions thinking about how far I've come in taking care of myself and loving myself. When I was younger, I always searched outside of myself for love and without a doubt, every time it left me feeling empty. It's in those moments when you feel yourself fleeting that you have to come back home within yourself. You're the one experiencing these moments. How you feel, act, or react is entirely up to you. Loving yourself means not seeing yourself as a victim and taking responsibility of your life. It's hard to be loving towards yourself when you feel like the world is out to get you. Self-love is also about accepting how you feel, whether it's good or bad, and not beating yourself up about it. When I was younger, if I was feeling bad about something, the problem wasn't that I was feeling bad about it, but that I would beat myself up. I would be so hard on myself. I would just make myself feel terrible about the situation, as if I wasn't feeling bad enough. Whereas now, I've trained myself to accept whatever decision I had made, however I had reacted in that moment, and just let it be accept it, learn from it, and move on. I was so self-destructive in my past. For a while, all I cared about was numbing myself so that I didn't have to feel anything. I thought I wasn't worthy of love from myself or anyone. But the older I got, the more self-reflection I had. I started to learn what it meant to just, not only just take care of myself, but love myself. Every day that you wake up, you have a choice to set the mood for yourself. I know some of you out there might be like, well, yeah, but depending on our circumstances, I'm sad and upset or angry because of all of these things. Forget about all the things that are happening around or in your life and just focus on yourself. Self-love takes preparation. Do things for yourself that's not going to be just a quick fix. What I mean by that is anything to numb yourself so that you don't actually have to feel anything. Self-growth happens when you move through those feelings. Pay attention to it. I promise you will get through it and it's going to help you grow. Prepare for your day. Whether you fully execute that or not, start somewhere. Go to bed earlier. Wake up a little bit earlier. Prepare your foods. Have five minutes to yourself in the morning before you have to run off and start your crazy day. Take five minutes for yourself in the middle of your day to just breathe and acknowledge yourself and acknowledge all the things that you've done great with your day. Even if that is just getting up and getting to work. Hey, you did it. Read more. Go for more walks. Spend time in nature. Meditate. Have some kind of peaceful ritual that you share with only yourself. You're gonna feel really good about it. You're gonna feel good about the conscious decisions you made for yourself. That is self-love. Rewarding yourself. Telling yourself that you love you. Don't be afraid to love yourself and say it to yourself and think, dang, you know, like, I'm looking good today. I think it's also important to be aware when a situation is not serving you in a loving, harmonious space, you don't have to be a part of that and you don't have to feel bad about it. Start to train yourself to not feel bad about these things. When something is not supportive of your self-growth, it's time to let it go. Challenge your ideas, your beliefs, challenge yourself, and remember, self-love takes preparation. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you already apply some of the things I talked about in this video to your everyday routine. And also let me know if this video helps shed a little light. I appreciate you all so much. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all daddy. And I'll talk to you guys next time.